remain undefeated in the LEC. 6-0 so far. Incredible. Zitch to the side. Noah absolutely shits out of my god. It's beautiful. We are just trolling. It is G2 that will get the better of Fnatic today. It didn't feel like us for when we win the weird thing. I think you need to say even if you don't. Fnatic up against the wall and BDS looking like the second best team in the LEC. It's now a reference game on stage. Are Usually... We? When teams are playing first game on stage, are a bit scared. I don't want you guys to be scared. I don't give a shit. Do mistake. Who cares? When you do mistake, ask instantly what's next. What's the next play? How do we play? Focus on the fundamentals because we improved in last seven days a lot on communication, on the TPs, moves, respecting, playing together. So I want to see that. What is a set play? What is a set play? The retake, guys. What else? What else? When we push side, I want guys. Hi. All right. Hey. I'm not gonna say it right now what I want. Guys. No fucking chasing into enemy team. We can just hold the position. We are like Spartans. We just hold our spear and our shield, and when they come, we attack. All right. Maybe it'll be victorious, yes. Hey! Nice! Nice! Clearly ready to try to force the steal. Or an ultimate gonna get used. Knock up onto three is good, but again, there's no immediate fall. Gladdy laying down as much damage as he can, but the front line is just too damn strong. Razork will not let any of his tanks fall. Kana dropped. Oscar on a killing spree. Gladdy doing what he can, but it does not matter. Razork, the shield's coming in left and right. Noah started to take over the fight and upset. Absolutely useless in the exchange. Closer retreating. Fnatic are done. Carmen Core are done. And Fnatic, with a confidence team fight, will pick themselves up. Win in some. more, but we got it. The plan worked out good, no? Yeah, the dive. We did, we did the dive. <laughs> yeah. You Everything. Did 15 and minutes and right. Yes, I'm so insane, no? Senna will move there, and I will have level six. So we are trying to dash on first, first, uh, first, and try to play for them. Okay. Juni. What's up? You played good. <laughs> no. Eh, Juni. Eh. Did Juni play good? Juni played perfect! <laughs> you see? Pixel perfect! You don't know the best you don't you don't to lose in the trust, world! I, ah, 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 I, I was thinking <laughs> you would spin the wheel if you said no, I don't trust him. <laughs> okay. Good. Do you trust your teammate? Yeah, I trust. Nice. So you played good? But I think I think Marek and <laughs> Marek and me thought never lose when we have Fue and Jerry against enemy team. I honestly don't remember specifics about week one, no longer you know, but I, I remember I think we played pretty decently only the third game against Vitality. Outside of that it was a bit shaky, first game against KC, they're not that bad and it was a shaky start. And then I think against GX we also were not playing the best. Fnatic taking the win over GX and a 37 minute nail biter. So I think from week one I would say the only game that was very similar to how we play in scrims was uh, against Vitality. Uh, Maybe we should play like Seraphine mid play or something. Maybe blue. Maybe you should shut the fuck up. Yeah? Yeah? Maybe. Maybe, yeah. Or maybe for sure. This test, I give you 2,000 euros. Zero, is, uh, 2,000 uh, euros? I, Dude, but you know what are the chances, by the way? It's like 0.00 0. 0. 0. something. Champion, champion any. Star Nemesis Fiddlesticks. Pass. Sucks. I am ready. Wait, but I got another one, so you are lucky you have another chance. <laughs> yeah, go another one. Or you can go away. I got any again. I think it's Darius. I think that's coming. It's Pierre. It's a emote. It's a fucking emote. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Oh. oh. Wait. Uh, it's his what? What the fuck is that? SK Gaming. Ah, oh, fuck. Oh. Did you record that? Yeah. Oh, I can't play. What, what the fuck is wrong with ah, you? Bro, <laughs> it's a sensible spot. Hello. 
Oh, you waited. You cannot do that. Do it. Fuck, man. <laughs> okay, go. Shut up. Let's get ready. I am fucking ready. <laughs> <laughs> it is going to be complicated, as we said, for Vitality O and 2, and they have to face off against the likes of Fnatic today, who had a phenomenal start uh, to the split 2 and 0 oh so far. They've been a bit more tempered around their objective setup, which was a bit unlike Fnatic, because usually they're just like, go in, go in, go in, high tempo all the time. I think Fnatic can be very scary in our current meta, and Vitality, with their rough start, really have to, their work cut out for them today. I mean, Healy caught out, Siri charged down to Noah. Photon far away, there's the center ulti as well. Video is denied. Razork with a cool move as the death charge is even cooler. Video caught out, Photon with a great ulti, but again, Exhaust was saved. It counters this little threat. We ask, can Vitality finally get themselves on the board? But when you are faced with an adversary like Fnatic, it's a firm no. A 3-0 finish to their first week of LEC Summer. Nice, very good. I mean, we knew we were win, so I mean, it was clean. I didn't have uh, anything this game. You play good? Mm, yeah, we knew already we were win. Good draft? Yeah, I mean, so, dripped, uh, enemy dropped is fine too, but our, our is better and I, we just better. Oscar doesn't come in literally 20 seconds, I'm gonna punch him in the face. He needs to stop without him, it doesn't matter. Yeah, like what is he gonna say? Yeah, guys, good job. <laughs> That's it. He's, he's gonna okay, say guys, exactly guys. that. Yeah. Yeah. Guys, 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 bets. Okay, let's do something before he comes. We are gonna say, Oscar, you were late, you are the one starting. Okay, what what do you think he's gonna say? Okay, okay. What was he playing today? Rumble. My equalizer was green. The game was pretty uh, fine. <laughs> I was just kind of burning. Alright, Oscar. You were the one late, so you start. Yeah. Was a nice game. Yeah, I love it. What was I doing? Before you come. No, 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 no. Hey, hey, hey. But the why the other thing? <laughs> <laughs> it's fine. I think maybe you will see it in the Legends in Action. <laughs> 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 Next week you can see it, but it was wrong. It was like, the beginning was wrong. Beginning was, yeah. yeah. Beginning was okay. Go, money. Okay. <laughs> yeah, man, I was. <laughs> what? You know, you know. It was pretty good. <laughs> I heard nothing. Just counter, she counter away, or what? It's not counter, she counter away. Um, I think we, we were doing pretty good. Our micro zero, object zero, and team five. Yeah, perfect. Nice. And then I am really proud of how we actually started the season. I think you guys are quite disciplined in screams. Um, we're being a little bit more tough on you, but I think it's working out great. I think your discipline in game is also being much better and you guys are playing really good. It's very important guys that you will not get complacent. This job is not done. Like it's week one and we have to be yeah. going, improving every week. So it is really important for you to take the day off chill, do whatever you want, but then come in hungry, energized, and with try hard mode. After we came from the break, everyone was kind of angry. <laughs> Whenever you kind of fall down, then you're more eager to, you know, do everything in your power, not for that to happen again. Everyone was super willing to try hard every single game and completely shift the mentality of how we come to the practice and kind of build processes that help with consistency. We've been winning everything in scrims 
and it was incredible because you could see uh, the whole team and even individuals leveling up. In between week and one and week two, yeah, we kept up the level. It was actually insane. We felt like we cannot lose against anyone and we just went into the week two and, and uh, mainly the game against Rogue. I mean, they kind of trolled in draft, so it was very easy for our players to play the game. It was just systematic, controlled, um, something that we want to see more and more. Hello, Oscar. Hello. Hello. You need to play fast and win. España. What? España. Spain. 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 Spain.
His hair is gonna be mega wet. It's like when you eat ice cream and after Insta, you got this. The rain freeze. Yes. What are you doing? Hey, don't hit your players. You saw it. You hit me first. I think Fnatic is coming back and looking pretty much like what we expected to see from G2 really their consistency their ability to not only play well while ahead but also come back from behind like they're just so dominant right now this is a Fnatic that it's 5-0 and right now Fnatic fans are probably shocked anyway. because no one expects Fnatic to look so good so controlled at the start of a split we're used to them struggling in the beginning coming back looking for a miracle run yeah, everyone's just thinking am I in a dream right now should I wake up tomorrow what is actually happening exactly. but yeah it is, it is reality for now and it's a good reality yeah, particularly when we're looking at the games that they have ahead, but also the fact that they've already locked themselves in for playoffs. Immediately trying to start the fight. Razzrick ready to turn back. Super really hasn't had the chance to auto attack yet. Will now finally start to do a little bit of damage with the ulti from Alvaro. Not doing much of anything, and Oscar just gonna flash into the main range of Supa. Razzrick immediately gonna follow. They're just looking to eat some carries. Miro and Tanky, but not anymore. As again, he's just gonna get shredded down by four members of Fnatic. MDK walked in, but they did not want that fight. That just continued to slowly but surely tear through the Lions board with a par four as Razzrick again is just gonna start the fight. Humanoid there to follow up. Alvaro is supposed to be tanky, he's supposed to be immune to damage with a true damage. Again, the reckless swing coming in from Olaf, coming in from Oscar. He's just slowly shredding through El Yoya and Supa just doesn't do enough damage. They're burning everything and Oscar refuses to die. Just Ragnar rocking his way through the team. Miro and the follow-up is there. The dash does absolutely nothing, and it feels like this is a victory march for Fnatic. Fnatic remain undefeated in the LEC. Six and zero. How does it feel to go that way? It obviously feels nice to go 6 0 because it means that we are doing things well, right? It's been a pretty good season by us, and we are really consistent, which is why it feels good to be 6 0 because. We are not having up and downs, and we are actually playing really well almost every game. And yeah, I'm really happy with that. Just give me Kurki and maybe. No, give me Kurki. No, I'm gonna. Rock paper scissors. Who plays Kurki today? No, rock paper scissors. Who plays Kurki today? Kurki was the first champion I ever played. Rock paper. Rock scissors play. But not on go. One, two, three, go. One, two, three, go. One, two, three, go. Oh. Yeah. But you have to do... Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you. Oh, How do you feel? Energy wise. So, so? How is it? How is it? I'm feeling good. Because of potion. Yeah. Okay. How do you feel? Potion. Yeah. Poison, poison. Good, bad, so, so? I just feel sick. Dizzy. Dizzy? It's <laughs> good. I think he doesn't care. Oh my god. I want, I want to follow Let's go outside. Cold water, What is happening to our players? Hit the gym! Wait, today should be up today, no? Today you should be shut the fuck up there. Hey! Hey! Oh, damn! Honestly, we've been in a similar spot last split also when we started pretty strong and we had a good practice and then we, I think, lost against G2 and we kind of mentally crumbled. We know how to start strong, we know how to do well in the practice, but then maybe some guy has a bad day, you know, and it starts to be a bit risky or crumble. But honestly, we still have not answered this question fully how to stay on top of our game and we're still searching for you know that and i think that's the hardest part about being the best and staying on top we have really good draft guys the reminder okay say conditions mainly carries if you're strong give that confidence to others so they can go in and fight if we have zones play with the zones and wait and be disciplined and patient for their mistake because we have in the really insane turn and last have fun, okay? Six and oh so far. Incredible. You're going up against G2. Aftershock proc interrupted by the handshake. Jun gonna get taken down. One more auto gonna do it. Yike getting lower and lower. The bailout though. Yike's still gonna drop. They need to kill Noah, but they can't do it. Excellently played by the Fnatic AD carry to bring it back. And now he's got double buff. He's gonna start healing up. Vicky has to be careful. He has to be perfect. He dashes to the side. Noah! Absolutely shits on him! My God! It's beautiful! 
Oh, they get up for a fight. Time for a fist by a handshake. Good to interrupt the initial play. Rather getting shredded before he can push his R button. All the already going on, hitting absolutely everyone. Noah's managed to cleanse out, but he really just cannot do enough damage. In the meantime, Caps empowered the hook shot, the wall dive, the flash out, but now the Hextech ultimatum locking him in this prison. We are just trolling. We are just trolling. It's been a close back and forth with some crazy fights, but it is G2 that will get the better of Fnatic today. I was actually so bad today. I was like dropping tempo, going for a place that were not good. But I was just really unfocused. I couldn't really think like I usually do today. I wasn't feeling the, the greatest too. I didn't lead like the macro. I was just like kind of DC in the map too. I was getting caught. Um, mechanically, I was also bad. So, I think if I'm better, I play good this game, we, we can win. When we tried to bot it, we always success and came in after the time, but we failed because it was very late today for, for me. So, just close, I think. We don't need to worry about it, but I want everyone. To uh, focus uh, this uh, next week practice. We played mega shit today. Like it, it didn't feel like us. We were doing really weird things. I would say. I hope it's just a bad game and we keep uh, playing good and we come to screens fresh. You know, like that's it. It's we shouldn't let this lose affect us. That's it. Yeah, yeah. I think they punished us a lot. Even against the Madlands games, I, I think they were also going through side and we were not going as much. But against G2, they, they destroyed us by going side. So I'm actually glad that we lost this way because we can learn a lot from this one. But to me, practice and conditions, guys, that's it. You guys are the ones that can control this, no one else. If we actually like change, sweep them, uh, change the mindset of actually how can we do better in every aspect that we failed against G2 or Matt, we can be a much better team. So that should be our goal for the next week, okay? Okay. And it's probably good that it happened now. Yeah, not towards the end, right, or playoffs. I agree. Because there's a bit of a wake-up call going into playoffs when you want to peak. And then we just keep trying to build the toolbox out of game so you don't get fucked up. And four days of practice, let's use it all. Yeah. yeah. That's I think meta changed and we started to play champions that we are, were not practicing before. Because of that, we were kind of lacking mechanically and that was one of the biggest strengths we had, like kind of outplaying everyone mechanically and snowballing. We will lose everything. What? Let's play today. Yeah, but we will lose everything. Yeah. 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 What? Yeah. Two. Three. <laughs> 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 he has four leg. He has a six leg, right? Mm. So minus two. He has four leg. He has two legs. So minus two. So it's six. No. Yep. No. But why do you have the jacket? Great idea. Take the jacket too. Oh. You're gonna die. Fuck no. <laughs> you. <laughs> <laughs> Going into this matchup, I think it's very, very clear that, you know, Fnatic are the favorites. They don't necessarily play pure meta, the best version of the meta, which is double AD carry, mid and AD carry. They have exclusively played AP champions in the mid lane. No Tristana, no Corkies, nothing like this. And I think that could potentially be a weakness that I have to do. I'm really scraping the bottom of the barrel. I think they're absolutely fantastic. They're Noah's still fantastic, well. right? And I, I think they should clear TH. They only have Seiyu and Gates. If we block Seiyu and Gates, I'm gonna one-shot them all, by the way. Like, they can't play against my champ. They have three melees and Seri that doesn't have a lot of range unless she ulties. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. So, that's, that should be the main goal, okay?
good. It's been a lot about Yankos getting the ball rolling this time. Feels like it could come from anywhere as Trippie's been caught out. Immediately gonna flash him with a headbutt pull. In the meantime, Wonder off on the side. He's gonna isolate. No, pull it back. Easy 1v1 against the AD carry. Any realm against Wonder. It's a death realm. He's got the ocean soul. And the entire team of Fnatic is just getting deleted. Wonder with the triple kill. He'll give the rest to his AD carries. He's a generous top laner, but that is a monster fight for the side of Team Heretics. Fnatic could not find the angles. Team Heretics from start to finish. A single misstep, a single fail dive from Fnatic. They were quick to punish and even quicker to snowball to victory. In 30 minutes, they'll take the win. Slowly but surely for Fnatic to deny that top one against Solar Player. Engage is there, impale is there, and force a rocket, but another shove! They're all multi-man nukes, stop it! Check his PC, get him off Talia, because Fnatic can't handle it. Off on the side, Noah's still hitting the Dragon though, and onto Razork. I mean, BDS need to get on back, they may have gotten the kills, but the Dragon is also important and running forward. They now know it's taken by Fnatic, but in the pit with no way out, and Ice getting excited. Fnatic up against the wall, and BDS looking like the second best team in the LEC. We are just uh, playing worse, I guess. I fucked up this game, I guess. And yeah, I don't know how I feel. Today, what's happening in comps is I could mute people and we would play all, almost the same. And it is a big issue because this entire game, maybe two guys asking to do something, legit no one was replying. If you want to play like this, then the macro will be unplayable, by the way. Because it's always, you have to do something, because in, in how it's being played now, one team is doing something on the same time, on the other, other side, the other team is doing something. If one team is faster, more decisive, they will get, get the lead, tempo lead, whatever you want to call it, then they will be winning the game. They will take first to that, they will have side wave push, they will move, they will dive other side, and they will keep snowballing. You guys realize now, against G2, we are not winning lanes, or we are even, or we are even behind. Macro, we lose. BDS. No, it's to zero. We fuck up on mid, whatever. Macro, we lose. We need to have feedback with each other and understand if someone is getting more tilted, more frustrated, we need to speak about it, we need to clear the air. I'm trying out every day, but sometimes I feel like others don't want to do At the start we were just winning streams by random fighting, and I was fine with that. But now if, if I try to do like do the reviews and play them up, it's the same exact thing that, that, that we tried last split. Sometimes he told me some things, but it's, uh, he doesn't want to say it to him, you know. So I, I will not say, but I'm saying, if you, I think you need to say, if it's not good, even if it's not good. I truly don't know what's making you not enjoy the game, right? And we all can see that, if, like you don't have to say that you're not enjoying the game, for us to know, we know something's wrong with you and we can ask you one-on-one, -on -one, but if you don't want to talk about it, we will never like understand it, right? And we will just be, oh, June today is not feeling it. I don't know what's going on, you know, how can I help you? We cannot help you, you know, if you don't talk about it. And it can be a really small thing, by the way, that if it keeps happening for so long time, yes. it can affect you so much. You all also have to retrospectively look into yourself and say what can I do better like what happened like in first week that mood was super good energy was super good we entered into the first weekend we had better games worse games we won but the energy was very good what happened between first day first week and fourth week we have to bring back the fire that we had before otherwise it's disgusting you know and uh, do whatever you have to do as coaches or individuals to bring it on next week, you know? Because, yeah, I don't know, I don't know what's going on. But...